Clipboard is a function which allows you to access a list of items you have recently copied in order to paste them into further documents when needed. This saves you from needing to rewrite all comments again for multiple different pieces of text. This function is extremely useful when you are marking the same assignment from multiple students, if you have found yourself inputting comments into the wrong student's grade sheet, or if you have overwritten first marker comments and need to cancel the record in order to reinstate this information. In Microsoft Office programs, the clipboard will be located in the Home toolbar in the top left of your screen. To access it properly, click the small arrow in the bottom right of this section and you will see a toolbar open on the left-hand side of your screen. You may notice that some previous items you have copied are listed here, but you can choose whether or not to keep these by selecting each item and clearing any you wish to delete. The example of clipboard I will use for this tutorial is that of a marker who wishes to provide a similar structure of comments within their feedback for multiple students, maybe only altering a few keywords in each section. The same method will be appropriate for markers who have overwritten previous comments or put their comments into the wrong student record. Once the clipboard is open, if you move back onto the grading spreadsheet record and double click a text box, you will be able to highlight the portion of text you wish to save to the clipboard. Once your text is highlighted, you can either right click and select copy from the menu or use Ctrl and C on a PC or Command and C on a Mac. Using the clipboard is no different from how you would normally copy and paste items. However, the main objective of this is to allow you to access multiple portions of copied text and input them into further records easily, removing the need to copy and paste items individually. Select and copy all sections of text that you wish to save to your clipboard. Notice that the items I have copied have saved to the clipboard in reverse order. That is that the last item I copied is saved at the top of my clipboard list. If you know that you would like to access your prompts in a certain order, it may be worth making sure to copy them to your clipboard backwards. Now that I have copied the comments I wish to take onto the next record, I will update this student's feedback sheet. Note, if you are copying your comments in order to move them to the correct record or reinstate comments that were overwritten, you should click the cancel button here instead of the update button. Now we'll open the student record that I wish to input my data. Make sure to double click the comments box in which you wish to paste your comments. If you do not double click the text box, the clipboard function will not work correctly. You'll be met with an error box which states that the text is not the same size as the area in which you want to paste it. Don't worry about this, you can click through these error boxes without causing yourself any problems and will be able to double click and input your copy text afterwards without issue. Once you have double clicked the box, you can select the text that you wish to paste and input this. Click on the text you wish to input and you should see that it enters into the comments box. You can do this as many times as you require and continue to copy new portions of text to your clipboard for use later, as long as you keep the clipboard toolbar open on the left hand side of your screen whilst you're using the grading spreadsheet. If you close this toolbar, the portions of text that you have already copied up until that point will be lost. It is also worth noting that the clipboard can be used as a second marker and as long as you double click the comments box before entering any copied text, previous markers comments will remain on the feedback record.